Patrika Darbo, or shall I say Mrs. Santa Claus. How are you today? I'm very fine, thank you. Isn't this a wonderful event? Oh, I am, so I am so excited to be here today at the Puppy Star Christmas screening. And I can say your character was flawless. You did such an amazing <laughs> job. And let's talk about the dogs. If you could be any dog, who would you want to be? Oh, you know what? I think I would be some little mutt who just needs a home and needs to be loved because they, we have so many out there. So uh, adopt, don't shop. Just an adorable message and listen to that message. But how could you describe your character, Mrs. Santa Claus? Well, I am Mrs. Santa Claus. And as we all know, Mrs. Santa Claus lives with Mr. Claus. She goes through the list with him. We know who's naughty and who's nice. Of course you do. And if you could have any wish to Mr. Santa Claus, what would it be? Uh, any wish from Mr. Santa Claus? That he stays healthy and happy and joyous for every one of the kids in the world. Oh, so sweet. And one of my favorite moments of Christmas, making cookies, huddling in my blanket. But one of the most is going on a trip to Big Bear, relaxing in the snow, just like Santa Claus does, gives presents. He's so nice and gracious. What do you like to do? You know what? I love going to see. You know, I'm still a kid at heart. I love making snow angels. Whenever you can lay down there and go like this and have a good time. And I, you know what? Sometimes my dog had the first time she ever got to see snow, too, and it was kind of like... What is this and that tentative stuff like that. So that's fun. And then being with family and friends always is a great time. Yes, always warms my heart. Thank yes. you so much, Patrika Darbo. Make sure to go check her out as her role. And just you did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you, honey. Thank you, everybody. I am back with Caitlin Mayer, who voices Tiny and Scrappy in such an amazing. How is it like voicing two characters? So I love voicing two characters because I feel like it's not like Tiny and Scrappy are any bit alike. They're so polar opposites. Like Tiny's so sweet and Scrappy's just from the street, super rough, has this edge to her, but also is so lovable at the same time in just her own way. And I love just contrasting those characters in such a cool but like amazing and emotional way. And that's what I love about this movie so much. Well, I definitely can't wait to see how you voiced and changed Scrappy from Tiny in so many different ways. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. But I want to know, how is it like really meeting them in real life? The cuteness high level was probably at 10. <laughs> the dogs themselves? Okay, I love doing that. And because I voiced the roles, I didn't really get to go on set where they were actually filming it. So today was the first day, today, when I got to like actually be with the dogs themselves that actually played the role. And that was so cool. Because I love the dogs, and that's honestly the coolest part of all the movies, is just like getting to be with the dogs, you know? Like, they're amazing. Oh, cuteness high level, probably at 100 by now. <laughs> Definitely. And did you face any challenges among being two characters, Tiny and Scrappy? Okay, so Scrappy in the movies has a Brooklyn accent, and I have some family from New York City, but I didn't really know how to do that whole Brooklyn accent thing, so I had to coach with one of these vocal accent coaches who really helped me to be able to pull off that accent, and so ever since I went home after that and just annoyed my brother with it, because it was just about like, shut the front door, like, it's so different, you know, like, from the way I normally speak, but it was so fun, it was a challenge, but so worth it. Amazing. And can you do one little impression of Scrappy right now? Sure. What are you doing? Back out of my bubble. Oh my gosh, that is such amazing. Sounds just like Pup Star World Tour. Per <laughs> perfect. And just to let you know, I'm on a personal note. I love baking cookies. I've told everybody this. One of my favorite things to do on the holidays. One of my other favorite things to do is stand in front of the fire, just scrub my arms, eat hot cocoa with marshmallows on the top. What do you love to do? Okay, both of those are high on the top of my list too. I have to say sitting outside and just like amongst the snow and just sipping hot cocoa and watching my little brother play and like jump into the snow and drown because he's like two feet tall is really, really my, like my favorite thing. Nothing beats that. And then of course marshmallows, like come on, yeah. that's the best. Yes. And on my list, I want to go to Big Bear, make some snow angels, lay in the snow and try to see if my mom can find me at least. <laughs> amazing. Thank you so much, Caitlin May here. I had an amazing time. Make sure to go check her out as her two roles of, as tiny and scrappy. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm here with Mackenzie Soul, who voices um, P.U.P. in the movie Puppy Star Christmas, as well as Puppy Pup Star World Tour. I remember you. So, um, what do you think will most intrigue people in this movie? I mean, the movie's amazing. You're going to see a lot of different things to what you've seen in other Pup Star movies, and I think you're going to enjoy it. They're going to be excited. Yeah, definitely, and I definitely believe that. And how would this production bring something new to the film? Something new to the family. I mean, singing? Singing's something that brings something new because I'm a rapper dog, right? So to be able to sing is really cool because I get to 
do what I love to do, you know? That's really cool. And what challenges came among you when you were trying to bring the script to life? To bring the script to life? Like, I can relate to this movie because, you know, P.P. is kind of like a Brooklyn style on his own. He's like a lone wolf, right? I'm kind of like a lone wolf as well, you know? I, I like to be on my own now and again. And it, we just, we have a very similar, you know, routine, me and P.U.P. So it's kind of like the same. And what are some similarities you have with your character? Loud, energetic, hyper. I can, the list will go on forever. Me and, me and P.U.P., I just met the dog back then. It was so alike. It's crazy. It's crazy. Speaking of the dogs, how was it like working and voicing a dog? Voicing a dog, it was really cool. I've never done anything like this before, so it was really challenging, but also like creatively challenging as well because I get to do something different I've never tried before, you know? So that's really cool. Thank you so much, Mackenzie Soul. Make sure to go check him out as his character, P.U.P. You did such an ama amazing job, and stay tuned for more at the Puppy Star, Puppy Star Christmas live in Santa Monica. Thank you. Puppy Star Christmas, coming this Thanksgiving on Netflix and Digital HD November 20th. Yeah, yeah, yeah.